I'm Chris Shattuck and this is Working with Custom Blocks and Image Styles. In this chapter, we add a block with custom content, we run into a conflict with shared content type fields, and then we resolve it, and finally we explore how image styles work. In the last chapter, we improved the user interface for tour guides by enabling them to use a WYSIWYG in order to manipulate content. In this chapter, we're going to further improve the interface by, instead of using this default navigation block in order to navigate to pages that would be useful to a guide, what we're going to do is set up a specific block that links only to the things that would be most useful to the guide. So for example, in this navigation scheme here, it says add content, but really the only thing that they can add right now is a tour. So it makes sense to bump up a add tour link to the very top of this list to make it the most usable. So to do that, what we need to do is create our own block. Now we've seen blocks in the past. We have a block here on the left. We have a block here on the right. And we know that the main content area of the page is also a block. But we can also add custom blocks with custom content and use it to position content in the same way that we can position any other block. So let's go ahead and jump back to the browser where we're currently logged in as an administrator. And let's go ahead and go to the blocks administration page by going to structure and then clicking on the blocks link. Okay, notice at the very top there's this add block link. Let's go ahead and click that. So the goal here is to create a simple block that includes links to administrative pages that will be useful for the guide. And so we'll add a little bit of descriptive text as to what the block is for, as well as the links. Let's go ahead and call it guide block as the description. Now notice if you read the description, it says a brief description of your block used on the blocks administration page. So this isn't actually the title, it's just what's used when we reorganize our blocks and position the blocks. For the block title, let's go ahead and call it the guide guide. And for the block body, let me go ahead and fill that out and fast forward. So what this says is, below is a list of useful links when you're wearing your guide hat. If there's anything you want to add, please let the site admin know. Thanks. And then there's an unordered list, an unordered HTML list, a couple of list items. This first one points to the node add tour page and you could find this by going to the add tour page and copying the path. And this second one goes to logout, user slash logout. Okay, pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down. We don't need to modify the text format because if we look at our allowed HTML tags here, you'll see that we have unordered list and list item here, both allowed. We can set our region right now instead of going through the blocks administration page to position the block. So let's go ahead and do that. We want this to display only in the Bartik theme when the user is on the front end. And let's go ahead and set the position to sidebar second, which is the right hand sidebar. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. Now we haven't looked at this yet, but we can set visibility settings for this block according to a number of criteria. 